Midnight is a Korean thriller film that I've heard about. I wanted to check out for a long time. This one is about Kyung Mi. She is a deaf woman who works as a customer service for uh, deaf people. Uh, she's very kind, um, smart and crafty. Uh, and basically she decides to take one for the team and go drinking with her boss and her boss's clients, which sucks because, you know, that they say a lot of disparaging things about her. And that's kind of like hits in the theme of uh, the movie about how people don't care about others, a lot of apathy going on. But uh, unbeknownst to her, there is a serial killer who is working his way through uh, the town or the city. Uh, basically, um, lures, usually attacks someone and then leaves them somewhere to beg for help and then punishes whoever helps that person. So it's kind of like a weird twisted code he has, his ritual of, uh, you know, if you ignore someone in need, you will live. But if not, you'll die. Chung Mi obviously decides to help and becomes the, uh, the victim's, the next victim. However, she's able to escape and now the killer is after her. And that's sort of the concept of the movie. So the Midnight starts off really strong. I really liked um, Wee Ha Jun from Squid Game. He plays Do Shik, the uh, serial killer. He's relishing in the role. He loves this. It's like a creepy, almost Joker-like role where he gets to laugh and preen and, and really like overact. He really likes it and it's a really good role for him. And um, the actress who plays Kyung Mi is really good too. I really like her. Her mom's also deaf as well. Uh, however, the movie definitely loses steam as it goes on. Uh, the first, you know, 20 to 30 minutes is really taut, really tense. However, when you change locations, uh, they introduce new characters and um, really dumb police. And the movie just starts doing that weird thing where it, it warps reality in order to keep the movie going. And it really, it, you know, at first you could ignore the first couple, but the movie just does it for the rest of the movie. It feels like you're not watching a thriller, you're, li you're, you're living in some sort of weird dystopian reality where everyone's just dumb. Not just like the police, but like the main character, the killer. Pretty much every character has a dumb moment, at least in this movie, and it really bothered me because you can only ignore so many dumb moments. I'm not talking about cliches like, oh, uh, you know, we've just defeated the killer. I'm going to turn my back on them now and have a conversation. Um, just a lot of standing around, a lot of like stalling for time. You know, the movie would be over if just something happens, but they, you know, they just keep stalling, keep going. The movie's like almost uh, an hour, 45 minutes long. But there's one really annoying moment near the end where uh, it's like a really emotional moment, but doesn't really um, land. And it's really awkward. And I guess they're trying to like push in the whole theme of like people won't help you, no one will help you, and they didn't really utilize that enough. It was like there, but you know, when, when the movie is in its element and it's just like serial killer chasing prey, the movie works. But when they try to like bring in other characters, when they try to like have moral dilemmas, when they try to wax rhetoric on the apathy of society and stuff like that, the movie gets a little heavy and um, definitely uh, runs on for way too long. I wanted to like tune out at the hour 20 minute mark and the movie just had this really long chase scene that homage the chaser and they have this like finale in like a city square um like the the finale itself was okay too but i felt like it needed another polish or two in the writing department because uh the direction's solid i like the, the concept acting is really great from everyone but just the movie itself bends over backwards to keep going and it just it needed to be a little bit sharper and more you know expert you know but this is a debut from the writer director so i can forgive that so i give uh, midnight a five out of ten